Hey traders, this is Christian from Hertz, Tribeca Trade Group with your end of day recap for Wednesday. So the uh, reason why I have international markets up is because we saw a nice reversal today, a nice reversal in the DAX. Um, so the DAX has been kind of flirting with that 200 day moving average and um, nice move today. So, um, you know, I thought that was pretty constructive early on today. Uh, it took us a little bit of time to um, to get going uh, in terms of the market. Um, SPY ended up up 34 basis points. Qs ended up 30. Uh, small caps ended up about the same, 20 basis points. So kind of a choppy little day. I've got restoration hardware up because this thing's up to $69. They were expecting a 17% move. Uh, so the options uh, not cheap at all. 17% move. It's a huge move, but nevertheless, they're up. I don't know what is this 20% uh, or so? Uh, more than that, actually. Yeah. So 40, almost a 40% move, right? Am I am I doing the math right? 50, uh, tw about 20 bucks. It's about 38% move in restoration hardware, up to 70 bucks. This thing never disappoints in terms of uh, the move. But uh, let me just go over the day's movers for the day. So you know still kind of stuck in the valuary, which I will be doing a valuary webinar today after today's uh, close at six o'clock. So this will be a shorter uh, video today because we're going to talk a lot about that uh, today. NASDAQ, um, you know, NASDAQ, I think is, is, is pretty decent here still. Um, you know, it's gone below intraday, the valuary, but still wants to stay above value, which I think is, is very positive. So 144.24, um, small caps also continue to um, to hang in there as well in the value area right around that 50 day moving average um, so this one I think you, you want to watch pretty closely uh, so let's start with some sectors today and then we'll, then we'll go over today's aggressive option activity the transports um, were up nicely uh, a lot of that has to do with the airlines uh, Delta big Ba uh, I was going to say bearish, big bullish engulfing bar for Delta um, in the value area. So we'll see if this thing can uh, can get going a little bit. It, it stalled out here a couple days ago, but uh, you know maybe, maybe it's putting in a, a double bottom um, perhaps in Delta. Um, you could see a nice MACD crossover as well. Uh, so pretty good. You know when you start the day negative and you go positive, um, could end up being reversal. I, I actually like. I think I like Delta the best out of this group, which we did see some call buying uh, in that in that group uh, in the airline group today. Uh, Delta was the name where we saw calls. Uh, so transports I thought were were pretty interesting today. Um, the oil names. I think we should have the oil numbers out shortly for the API. If they didn't already hit the tape, let's see what oil is doing here. Um, not a big move there for oil, but um, uh, it was up most of the day. So started to see a lot of things like um, like energy. Uh, you know, so a lot of ener uh, call activity in some energy names the last couple days. OAH, which we talked about in last night's video, saw so close to um, what was it? Uh, I want to say 8,000 calls yesterday, but I might be off that 9,000 calls yesterday in OAH. That was um, the best sector today. So. Um, you know, call buying uh, resulted in, in, you know, OIH, the oil services ETF being being the best sector performer um, for the day. So pretty good signal uh, yesterday for, for OIH. Um, also, XOP and XLE were also up nicely, but not as much as, as OIH. Retail was actually um, the next sector that was up about up about 1.3 percent. Steel names also did pretty good. Media names, robotic names, consumer discretionary, um, all pretty strong. You know the construction trade, uh, not construction, the um, hurricane trade, uh, very strong for names like Home Depot, Lowe's, Generac, uh, which we continue to see call buying, light call buying in Generac, but up another 3.6 percent. And uh, fully breaking, uh, breaking out. I mean, this is a move from th from th basically from thirty eight, thirty seven, thirty eight dollars to forty three. So, really um, nice trade there in in Generac. Um, also, let's see what else. Yeah, home construction names were up sixty basis points. Um, on the downside, telecom names got hit pretty hard. Uh, there was the um, the news out. This one, this is the this is the telecom ETF. Uh, the winner in this group is T-Mobile. Um, so, you know, only ended up about 20, up 24 basis points um, after after climbing here a little bit after the news that they're going to offer 
uh, was a free Netflix. So Netflix took a little while. We, we caught this headline um, right around here today. I actually, I went long Netflix today, so had a, had a real nice winner. Um, I'm out of half the position. Why did I stay long the position? Because um, I think it has more more to go. Um, you know, I've been saying this for the last couple of days in, um, in Netflix that it looks like it's been, it's been trying to go. So I actually put the position on. Uh, today, uh, I looked at it yesterday. Uh, thought about it a couple times, and and uh, for at one point I was disappointed. <laughs> I was disappointed in myself because it did look like it was going to go right in the open. But um, I put that position on right right in here. So real nice trade in Netflix, and um, and it popped. So um, good good timing in that name today. Uh, besides, you know the other Fang stocks. You know I think they all like Apple, for example, or momentum names. Um, you could see Apple, you know, so using the valuers, which I'm going to talk about later, but we basically got to yesterday's low bottom of value and, uh, and climbed. So no major, you know, there was a little bit of volatility, which we've been getting. It seems like whenever we start the day, uh, when futures are bid, uh, which they were, they were up about 25 basis points. Um, we come crashing down. So, um, we've seen this now, uh, you know, over and over, but, um, same thing. If you go to the queues, you know, we started the day first bar um, up about 30 basis points and gave it all back. Um, so we did climb the rest of the day. Um, the main main catalyst was that um, the White the White House or the or Congress uh, came up with a debt deal uh, that includes for for Harvey and pushed that out to December. So that caused things to gravitate uh, gravitate higher for the day. All right, so let me go ahead and um, go over. So those are a couple of different charts. We'll go over today's aggressive option activity. Uh, we saw the first thing we saw was Gilead calls, and then we started to see some some buying in the agriculture names. Um, Potash um, was a real nice trade. Some took it in the trading room today. So uh, Potash was uh, traded very well. There's a little bit of calls in CF, which I'm long this name in cash. Uh, beautiful, up 7% today. Um, and then also Deer, we saw some call buying in. This one fizzled. I've been long Deer. Um, I've got a small position on. Really hasn't done much, but it's been sitting on the 200-day moving average. So really strong in that one. Um, what else did I do today? Yesterday, I, ha I had the NL, uh, NCLH, um, so hit my first target in this one from, from yesterday. Actually closed on the highs today. Uh, pretty nice move. Um, another name that I was watching, uh, look at this name, General Mills. We saw some call buying on Friday um, along with CAG. Um, so real nice move by uh, GIS. We'll see if that continues, but real well bid into the close, and it looks like some shares were bought um, into the close pretty decently. A couple other trades that we saw. We saw some energy calls. I did not take that trade. Buffalo Wild Wings ended up being, I think, a decent trade. You know, after making a 52-week low, it actually went from the bottom of value all the way uh, to the top. So, so pretty decent move. A couple other trades that we saw um, towards the end of the day. Uh, PBR. So I put a couple charts out on PBR. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I have them all. Let's see if I have the one for PBR. Oh yeah, here we go. So, so PBR. If you take a look, um, we're now above the 200-day moving average. Is this yellow line? So, 200-day moving average. Uh, we're now above it. We're also above a downward trend line um, in in PBR. So, um, I actually put so I put this trade on, um, and I'm up already in it. Um, in PBR. So I'll be long, and you know I've referred to these as easy trades. Uh, there's no, no trade is easy, but I refer to them as easy because I know exactly where to get out of it, which is that yellow line, the 200-day moving average. So a uh, long position started there. Um, I also took off EW, uh, EWZS. This is um, small. I mean, look at this thing. So 30% uh, profit in a couple months um, in this one. I got long on this on the 200-day moving average, right around $13, bucks, Um up to seventeen dollars, so I took half the position off. Um, it's pretty overbought, which is why I did that. EWZS again, uh, Brazil is ripping right now, so big, uh, big gains out of this, up another two point two percent. But you can see, reason why I took half off this position, I'm happy to to add it back. But right now, um, it's an eighty six RSI, so really, really cooking um, in <laughs> in that group. A couple other trades I mentioned the um, the T Mobile, the the Netflix. Uh, but there was some little bit of healthcare buying. Then there was another trade. I don't know why uh, DRI was down so much today, broke the 200-day moving average, but a call buyer came in um, at the end of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for 
it looks like it's trading up a little bit on light volume uh, DRI, but there was a call buyer right at the end of the day in that one. So uh, I would call that a dip buyer. So I'll leave it there for uh, for today's end of day recap. Uh, please go ahead and join us six o'clock. You can find that on my Twitter feed at C from Hertz and you can see the sign up link at six o'clock uh, where we're going to be going over valuers and why I look at them on a daily basis. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great night.